Good morning, church. It's Thursday of our Holy Week meditations, and today I wanted to share a question that's been on my mind as we approach Good Friday. How heavy was the cross that our Lord carried? What kind of weight did Jesus bear as he carried the cross? I tried to imagine how many times the weight of the cross could have crushed Jesus. How could Jesus feed his disciples knowing all of them would abandon him? Or what was going through Jesus' mind as he washed even the feet of Judas, who would betray him and sell him for a small bag of silver coins? What kind of stress consumed Jesus as he wrestled in prayer and said, Father, take this cup from me, but not my will, but yours be done. If that wasn't enough, what followed Jesus' journey to the cross was the searing betrayal of hearing People who earlier shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, now rioting and demanding for his death. And maybe the most painful moment of all is when Peter denied Jesus. What kind of loneliness pierced Jesus' heart as he looked into Peter's eyes? If we want to feel the weight of the cross, we only need to be still enough to hear Jesus crying into the silence, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? How could Jesus carry all of this? What gave Jesus the strength to endure this kind of suffering? I think the answer is found in Jesus' prayer on the cross. Maybe what's more astonishing than the thought of Jesus crying out in abandonment is his prayer of forgiveness for sinners. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, forsaken by the Father, his all-consuming prayer to God was that you and I would be forgiven. What we see in the cross is this. The cross is not a picture of a victorious king, but a broken savior willing to bear any weight to save the people he loves. Before our worship team leads us into a song, I want to invite you to make space to be willing to step into some discomfort, to feel the weight of our Lord's cross. And as we remember his sacrifice, let's be quick to hear our Lord's plea for us. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. This is our Savior. This is our King. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the cross. Help us to feel your love for us through it. Help us to consider that the cross is not just some unfamiliar, some distant part of this week, but help us to feel your nearness as we ponder and think about the cross that you carried for us. We love you and we thank you for loving us even unto death. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When now our hearts burn with a flame of fire consuming all for your sake. Consuming all for your son's holy name. And with the heavens we declare, you are our King. We love you, Lord. We worship. the hell
So good, so good, we 